Welcome my dear students. Today we are going to take a journey back in time to discover the significance of Mosley's experiment in the history of atomic research. In this lecture we will explore how this experiment unlocked the mystery of atomic number and how this concept is related to the modern periodic law. Mosley's experiment conducted by the British physicist Henry Mosley in 1913 to 1914 this groundbreaking experiment revolutionized our understanding of the structure of atoms and paved the way for modern nuclear physics this is an x-ray tube there is a negative electrode connected to the negative end of the battery which is the cathode and there is a positive electrode connected to the positive end of the battery which is the anode there is also a concave surface that will converge all the cathode rays to a single point on the target material when these cathode rays strike the target material new radiations are released which are the x rays these x rays are the electromagnetic radiations of high penetration power that have energy greater than ultraviolet radiation and lesser than gamma rays which are produced in all direction let's watch this in micro level take out one atom from this anodic plate the principle of the production of x rays is the inner cell transition mechanism when the cathode rays hit the target material they knock out the electron from the inner cell of the atom of the target material suppose that the cathode rays have hit the atoms of the target material and the electrons from the k cell is knocked out then a vacancy in the k cell is developed in order to fill that the electron will fall from either from l cell to the k cell or from the m cell to the k cell then those electrons released energy and that released energy is basically in the form of electromagnetic radiations which are called as the x rays which are produced in all directions only a few wavelength of these x rays are useful when x rays are produced they are passed through a slit of the platinum plate and they emerge through the aluminum window the purpose of this platinum plate and aluminum window is to actually extract the desired wavelength of the x rays out of all those x rays which are produced in almost all direction and then that desired wavelength of the x rays is made to fall on the crystals of the potassium ferrocyanide then it diffracts the x rays and then a diffraction pattern is recorded on the photographic plate and that pattern is called as the line spectrum of the x rays and in that line spectrum of the x rays there are different series of the spectral line present like k series the k series is most energetic series and that is produced when the electrons from the k cell is knocked out l series it is produced when the electron from the l cell is knocked out x rays like k series l series consist of individual lines like k alpha k beta l alpha l beta etc the k alpha lines are produced when the electrons from l cell move to fill the vacancy in the k cell the k beta lines are produced when the electrons from the m cell falls back to the k cell to fill the vacancy all these individual lines belongs to k series in the same way when the electrons from the m cell moves to fill the vacancy in the l cell then the l alpha similarly l beta series of spectral lines are produced it is important to note that every material has a characteristic x ray line spectrum when the target material is changed in the x ray tube the energy wavelength and the frequency of the x rays produced also changed resulting in a different line spectrum these x rays are known as characteristic of that target material now let's move on to the experiment itself mostly studied x rays most comprehensively and used 38 different elements as the target materials in the x ray tube from aluminum to gold and he observed 
the X-rays having the wavelength range of 0 0.04 to 8 angstrom and after studying characteristics and their line spectrum of X-rays of the 38 elements, Mosley proposed a law. According to Mosley's law, the square root of the frequency of the X-rays is directly proportional to the atomic number of the target material. This means that the heavier the target materials produce more powerful X-rays as compared to the lighter target materials. So he derived a mathematical equation for his law. He said wavelength is inversely proportional to atomic number means number of electrons. You can say lambda is inversely proportional to Z. Means if you will increase the atomic number or you can say heavier the anode wavelength will decrease. So energy of X-rays will increase because E is equal to Hc by lambda. Hence frequency will increase as we know E is equal to H nu. Finally he concluded nu is directly proportional to Z square or root nu is equal to a into z minus b where a is proportionality constant and b is screening constant for metals. In Mosley's law, the screening constant b depends on the line being studied. For example, b will be different for the k alpha and k beta lines. So the b basically depends on the line you are discussing whether that is k alpha, k beta, l alpha, l beta that B will keep on changing when you change the line you are studying. A graph can be drawn between the atomic number of the target material and the frequency of the X-rays resulting in a straight line when studying the K series of X-rays. A graph plot of frequency versus atomic mass gave a curve which is unsymmetrical. A graph plot of frequency versus atomic number gave a straight line which is symmetrical. Hence, Mendeleev's periodic law was modified. By this, he concluded that the atomic number is a fundamental property of an element than its atomic weight. Mosley's law is important because it stabilized that the atomic number is not just a positioning number in the periodic table, but it is also decides the physical and chemical properties of the elements. So finally, his statement was the physical and chemical properties of the elements are periodic functions of their atomic numbers and electronic configurations. Application of Mosley's law. Mendeleev's periodic table that was improved and the Mosley arranged potassium, argon, nickel and cobalt in the Mendeleev's periodic table on the basis of atomic number because they were incorrectly arranged in the Mendeleev's periodic table. Some elements with higher atomic weight were placed before low atomic weight elements in order to maintain similar chemical nature of elements and are called inverted pairs or anomalous elements like argon-40 before potassium-39. Mosley placed argon before potassium and cobalt before nickel in the periodic table by arranging the elements according to their atomic numbers. Mosley was able to better explain the periodic trends in the chemical and physical properties of element. By studying the characteristic X-rays of the rare earth by finding out the frequency of those characteristic X-rays, then the atomic number of the rare earth lanthanides and actinides were calculated. Mosley's law also helped to discover many new elements such as technetium, rhodium, prosodymium, and others. Thank you and be always grateful to our universe.